All right, so your Los Angeles Rams are your Super Bowl 56 champions. Wow, what a really, really good game. Thought this was a well-played game. Some people didn't really love it. A lot of low scoring, a lot of good defense. Loved what I saw for most of the game. Left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth to end this thing, but I'm going to break down everything I thought about the game, give you my two cents on everything going on, my reactions, my input, where I think this game was won and lost. But if you could first, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get these daily update videos. Share this video with your friends. It really helps the channel out a lot. We are growing like crazy. All right, so the Rams beat the Bengals 23-20 to in a very well-played Super Bowl. I thought this was a really good game, honestly. A lot of back and forth, teams kind of feeling each other out. The defenses had a great game plan for each other, two explosive offenses, and they really were very disciplined. Some decent tackling. I wish the Bengals would have tackled a little bit better there, but good game plan. Teams had to check down a lot. There was not a lot of huge home runs to be hit there. A couple were hit, but there was not the explosion of offense we were expecting to see. And it came down to the Rams getting it done, getting the touchdown, and the Bengals not being able to do it. This game was won and lost in the trenches. We were a little bit worried that what the Rams D-line could do to the Bengals, and we saw it in the end. So 13-10 first half, the Bengals and Rams were kind of feeling each other out. The big news of the first half, OBJ was having a monster half, had a touchdown, had about 50 yards, went down with a non-contact knee injury. I hope everything's all right, but he did not return, so he went down. Kind of messed with the Rams game plan a little bit. The Bengals were triple, quadruple team in Cooper Cup early in that. O OBJ was open. They were looking sharp with going to him. Couldn't really run the ball at all. Stafford wasn't great. He was very hit or miss on his throws. Didn't like anything I saw from Stafford. Threw a late interception. Bengals felt like they were getting dominated a little bit most of the first half. But went to the half 13-10 and then came out of the half Bam, bang T. Higgins, 75-yard touchdown. You know, maybe got away with a face mask on Jalen Ramsey. I'm okay with the no call. Ramsey got away with a holding on third and goal on T. Higgins. There's not a problem here. They weren't throwing flags. They were letting them play. DBs were mugging wide receivers on both teams. I had no problem with it. If you're going to let them play, let them be physical. We don't want the refs to get involved. And that's why I have a problem later in this game. Rams go out, throw an interception, a bad throw from Stafford. Not great pass, hit the receiver in the hands. Wasn't an e great throw, easy layup throw, led to a pick. Bengals got the field goal, having now a 20-13 to 13 lead. They're feeling good. Bengals really feeling like this is their opportunity. Second half team, not much going on in the third quarter. Rams defense, huge step up, make an adjustment on the D-line. They started overstacking the line and getting three on one side, one on the other, running inside stunts, and it killed the Bengals. A lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups for Aaron Donald. A lot of Von Miller stunting to the inside. Really caused havoc. The Bengals had a chance to win this game. If I'm a Bengals fan, I'm sick right now. Let this one slip away. Had the 20-16 lead in the fourth quarter. Let's just start there. Drop, big, big drop on third down from T. Higgins. Going to be a bang-bang play for the first down. Could really put the pressure on the Rams. Start bleeding this clock out with about six minutes left. And then the Rams... Kind of go down the field, you know, not a great drive, a lot of checkdowns, a lot of dink and dunks, no stretching the ball downfield at all from the Rams or Stafford. Not a great game from Stafford. Three touchdowns, two picks, very pedestrian get day. And honestly, Cooper Cup had carried the day. He was the only person that could complete a pass to on the slash drive. A lot of big conversions for him. But like I said, I don't love this penalty in the end zone here. We had a holding call in the end zone. Didn't love it. First of all, to start this play, not enough people are talking about it. This is the play. This is a false start. Nobody calls this. How do you miss this if you're an NFL referee? I mean, gee, let's see. Oh, my God. Uh, look at this. The guys are already kicked out of their stance. The ball's not even being moved. It's a false start. It's third and goal here. This is the whole game right here. we got two plays left for the game. It's 16 to 20. This is it, and you miss this false start. Embarrassment. And then you call this really ticky-tacky holding call. Maybe this is a hold week seven. You hadn't called shit all game. He's got his hands on him, yes. He doesn't really hold him. Gets away with it. I mean, Jesus, this is so soft. I mean, unbelievable. Third and goal, you're in the Super Bowl. You make this call. I hated this call. They, Like I said, they didn't call the one earlier on T. Higgins. I don't think they got it. 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, they didn't call this on Jalen Ramsey on T. Higgins, which I'm fine with. Look at that. He's got his full shirt extended, grabbing his shirt, pulling on third and goal. If you're not going to call it, don't call it. But again, this is NFL officials all season long. They have no feel for the game. They have no clue what's going on. This was a physical game. They were letting them play, and then you're going to make that call in the biggest spot of the game. I just really, really cannot stand it. I hate this shit. You call it one way all game, and then you change it at the end. He didn't mug him here. This is bullshit. This is just a bad call. It's third and goal. It was not a good throw from Stafford. You didn't call the earlier ones. You were letting them play all game, and now we have to interject and be in on this game. I hated that. After you just didn't even call a false start. A false start is not even a judgment call. It's the easiest thing, and you can't make that false start call that's sitting there at the front of the play. I mean, come on. Like, Jesus. Like, this is so blatant. Yeah, you're going to call that borderline hold, and then you can't call this false start here. So so bad just again nfl officials have been a joke this season god i could not stand them but yeah i hate that call but then we get to it they get the makeup call the next play they call a holding penalty on the uh, rams as a makeup call but they bang cooper cup high to the head so they get unsport or offsetting penalties never really happened for them and then the Rams try and run the clock, make the Bengals burn a timeout. Then they throw the game winner to Cooper Cup. You know, Cooper Cup had a great game, 92 yards, catching um, two touchdowns. Really, really good game from Cooper Cup. He was their go-to man on that last drive. Aaron Donald was a huge impact on this game. I was okay with Cup winning the MVP. Probably should have been Cup. I would have been really fine with Aaron Donald, too. He was a massive late in that game. Bengals get the ball back at a minute 35 or so left. Joe Burrow's got the ball. Hey, man, Joe Burrow, Joe Cool, hasn't played great all game. Joe Mixon had the touchdown pass in this game, which was hilarious. Evan McPherson, Money McPherson again, bang kick, bang kick, bang kick. No problem from him. So it was really, really interesting. This was Joe's moment. They got right to midfield. They had second and two from midfield. Um, still had two timeouts left. They were moving the ball. They were picking up first downs. And inexplicably, Zach Taylor... This is his worry. People talk about it. I don't think he's a good coach. I'm convinced now. He was 6-25 and before this year. Burrow's a great player. But, man, what are you doing? Samaj P. Ryan was dog shit all game. Not really carrying the ball. Joe you missed a third and one. You handed it off to him on the first drive of the game. He couldn't pick it up, and then you get stopped on fourth down. First drive of the game at midfield. He was awful. Was not picking up yardage there. Joe Mixon was chewing off seven a carry like it was nothing. Threw the touchdown pass. He's having a great game, and he's not on the field. You have third and two. Put Mixon in the game once you're at midfield. All you need is 15 yards for a field goal. I don't get it. What are you doing? P. Ryan gets stopped for about a half a yard. It's fourth and one, and then they can't block Donald. Joe Burrow makes a heck of an effort. Gets the ball out. P. Ryan again in his vicinity. Doesn't sell out for it. Useless. Couldn't make the play. Game over. Rams win. OBJ, a Super Bowl champion. Matt Stafford, a Super Bowl champion. Glad Stafford didn't win the MVP. Very unimpressed by him. Very, very bad game for Matt Stafford. Very not good at all, I think, from Stafford. Very mediocre. But great game from Cooper Cup. I think this game was lost, not won. Nothing crazy impressive from the um, Rams on their game-winning drive. They went down the field at like four yards a time. Dink and dunk. It wasn't any crazy big plays. A nine-yard slant, seven-yard slant to Cooper Cup was the big play that he took for like 30. Hit him over the middle. Not a big throw downfield, and Cooper Cup just ran it. So big game from Cooper Cup. Got the win. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams. I do think the Bengals let this one slide. I hate the taste that the refs left in the mouth here. Calling that penalty there. It's just... It's not the way the game was officiated all game. You can't make that call in that spot, I don't think. If you're going to call it, call it all game. You can't just make that decision in the biggest spot. It was third and goal. We would have had a fourth and goal last two plays for the Super Bowl. Did it Sean McVay, now the youngest head coach to win a Super Bowl, 36 years young. Not a great game plan from Sean McVay either. So it's amazing how all these offensive guys talk about offense, 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 and it always seems to be defenses making plays here. But good on them. First Super Bowl for them. First official Super Bowl for the Los Angeles Rams. They did win one back in St. Louis with Kurt Warner. So the Los Angeles Rams with their first Super Bowl win. And Bengal fans, I feel for you. Your last Super Bowl, you were up three and you let the 49ers go 90 yards. This time you were up four, let the Rams go 79 yards on you. 
Just a real, real tough break for the Cincinnati Bengals. I feel hard for them. But yeah, really good game. I liked what I saw. There was so much action, great defenses, good game plans. Just really wish there was no penalty on that last drive on a borderline call. Let the Rams score the touchdown. Let Matt Stafford win the game. That was my projection on Backyard Bookie. Stafford gets the game-winning drives. Bang- uh, Rams win, Bengals cover was my pick. Right on, bang, bang, bang. Lots of other great picks my boys had out there. First touchdown score, OBJ, they nailed that. So really good game, lots of good stuff. Crazy stats, eight straight coin toss winners have lost the Super Bowl. Really, really crazy stuff. Aaron Donald, you see here, emotional. Great game. There was word Aaron Donald might retire after this. I don't think he's going to retire. I'd be very surprised, but he had a great game. He's a Hall of Famer already, like three defensive player of the year, Super Bowl champion. Would have liked to get a Super Bowl MVP, I'm sure. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy the game? What would you think of that call? Did the Rams win it or did the Bengals lose it? Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you all tomorrow.